What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again. How many years did it get you to get your Sony A6000 looking good? For me, it took about seven years. That aside, today we're going to be talking about more mining. In particular, we're going to be talking about the 4U rack mount server case from Rosewell that allows you to rack mount your mining rigs in case you wanted to go to a colo or something along those lines to reduce power consumption at your house, etc. Or if you have like an MDF closet and you just want a more space efficient manner of mounting, of course, your mining rigs. Without further ado, let's hop into it. Bye. So the model number for this particular one is going to be RSV L4000B. The only difference between this particular model and the other model, which I don't have the model number up for at this moment, is going to be 6 GPU or 8 GPU. At least that's what's advertised. The caveat here is that both of them come with the mount, the same mount in the front, to mount either 6 or 8 GPUs just by unscrewing the mount and reversing it. The other significant difference is going to be the amount of fans in the rear where the six GPU mount has um, two fans in the very rear while the eight GPU mount has up to four fans in the very rear. In the middle of the case, you can mount four 80 millimeter fans as well. And then in the front of the case, you can mount 320 millimeter fans in the eight GPU model. And actually you can do it in the six GPU model if you get a little, you know, ingenuity in there and zip tie those things to the front which actually is what I ended up doing in most cases as the 8 GPU model that comes with the front mount fans or the fan brackets for you to mount them to uh, whistle really loudly because of the way the cutouts are and it reduces your airflow. You already have some airflow restriction from the front foam air intakes on this case and as a part of that front uh, foam you do have a uh, an opening that you can, that is lockable that will open it up so you can work a little bit easier in the case and access your power as well as USB 1 and your reset buttons. That being said, of course, you, the thing that I don't like about the front I.O. is that it runs along the right side of the case while they mounted the motherboard on the left side of the case, meaning that your cable management is a little annoying because it can barely kind of reach your front I.O., meaning that you're kind of stringing it along, and when you're doing a mining rig, you already have a ton of cables going on through there. So it is going to be more advantageous to go ahead and probably get yourself a modular power supply for this build. That being said, I'm using a lot of non-modular power supplies, and it hasn't affected it too much. One of the things I like to do in the 8 GPU model is take out that middle rail and forego anything there so that I have more room for cable management and then mounting the 480 millimeter fans into the rear of the case. When you do this, however, what you're gonna need to do is take the fan controller that's provided that's powered by a four pin Molex off of the power supply and mount that down onto the bottom of the case. When you do this, make sure that you do take, of course, the extra washers that are provided to go on the back side of that and mount that fan controller with that. So we've talked about the size of GPUs that you can fit in and the mounting options. The dimensions of this case are seven inches by 16.8 inches by 25 inches, and it weighs about 22 pounds. So it is pretty hefty and you're gonna need some muscles to go ahead and pick it up. The package contents include the case itself, of course, with uh, keys for the front of the case. The keys are universal and work across all the cases, so keep that in mind if you are uh, needing to lock this up. Maybe you want to get a different lock. It is a, you, the, just a basic standard lock that you can pick up from anywhere. It does come with all the screws, including the motherboard mounts, and it does say other accessories, which I don't actually know what to talk about because I haven't seen any other accessories personally uh, and we've ordered five of these so far now when you are putting the case together the first thing to note is you will have to put the motherboard mounts in by yourself so make sure that you are um, savvy with that and have a tool to do it if you don't have a tool to do it you can use the screw to do it and then use some needle nose pliers to hold the mount still 
while you unscrew that motherboard screw and then you can place the motherboard inside the case. Another thing to note, like I mentioned before, is the power supply support is not actually stated in here and you can fit a very large power supply up to the 1600 watt Hercules power supply. However, that middle bracket that comes with it for the 480 millimeter fans in the middle will make that kind of difficult. There's a couple ways to handle this. You can either A, like I mentioned, remove that bracket altogether, or B, you can get some tin snips, which I have done as well, and cut out the little fan bracket that's directly in front of the power supply and pass the cables through there. That works pretty well as, as well. The only problem is those edges are sharp. So when you're doing cable management and stuff like that, if you're pushing cables through, be very, very careful not to cut into any of those cables and so on. In fact, if you are going to use method B, I would recommend taking some electrical tape and running it along the edges just to make sure that they aren't sharp and aren't gonna cut anything when you're putting the lid on or anything like that or just assembling the rig. Now, a big note about these cases is that while they are supported for rack mounting into a server rack, the unfortunate part is there are no rails available anymore, at least rails that used to ship with them. I've emailed Ro Rosewell and I've asked for the rails that they used to make and I'm waiting on a response still. And I can't really find anywhere even on eBay. So unfortunately, that's not going to be something uh, that you can do, you're going to have to just lay them on top of each other, which presents a couple issues, uh, obviously, with like if you need to work on the rig and you have a rig sitting on top of another rig, you, pulling them out, you're, you're, you're going to end up having to take down multiple rigs. Workarounds here is finding either like a universal rack mount or rail for the server or just using shelves, which you can purchase. Um, something similar to the, like the HP shelves that they use for the storage, uh, that basically have two lips on either side, that would function pretty well. And so those are really what you're gonna be looking at. The use case for this, of course, like we've mentioned before, is for Ethereum mining. And what that means is that if you're gonna be between six and eight GPUs, you're gonna be somewhere between uh, depending on the GPUs, right, 800 to 1600 watts. Like if you max it all the way out, 1200 watts is not going to be hard on eight like 5700s, right? So you are going to need very powerful fans and it doesn't include fans. You're going to want three uh, front fans, most likely deltas, at least 4000 RPM in my opinion. And then in the rear, you're going to want the four 80 millimeter fans uh, for that one as well. And then you'll need an additional fan controller to run off of another Molex plug because there won't be enough amps pushing through the provided, um, the provided fan controller that comes with the case to push all of those fans at their high speeds if you're running the deltas, which you will need to do if you're going to be going with an eight GPU configuration. So keep in mind that your additional costs are gonna be three 120 millimeter Delta fans, probably running somewhere between 20 and $30 a piece. And you're gonna need four 80 millimeter Delta fans in the rear, running anywhere from 15 to $30 a piece as well. And then you will need an additional fan controller to supply that power to those fans as the provided fan controller will not provide it and the motherboard fan controller will not support up to those 4,000 RPM fans. So those are all the caveats with this case, things that you'll need in additional costs. So while the initial cost sounds enticing at between 50 and $80, depending on if you go with the six GPU or the eight GPU model, you will have up to about another $150 cost on fans alone. This may make some people who are not needing a rack mount solution consider just going with an open air design that doesn't require any additional fans. And that is going to be a big cost to take into consideration 
for your return on investment. So that should pretty much cover everything about the RSV L4000B. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you find some rails, let me know in the comment section below and I will see you next Tuesday.